What's up guys, Taco here. Today we're going to be finishing up the light quest. If you've been keeping up with Destiny for the past few weeks or been noticing on Reddit and Twitter and everywhere, people have been going absolutely mad over this quest. Now, whenever the quest started, we got a glitch where it was sent us to Eris instead of actually putting us inside of the bunker, which was its intentional um, place to put us. And this just caused a bunch of eruption and anger throughout the entire community on reddit and twitter and absolutely everywhere it was pretty ridiculous if you saw any of it this is just a seasonal quest it is just a shotgun which we will get eventually and it will most likely replace mind benders and you know all those kind of shotgun archetypes but people are just going too mad over this over the backlash bungie has officially made a fix 2.8.1.3 that will go out today at 9.45 a.m. PDT. That's when players will be kicked out from activities and they won't be able to log in until 10 a.m. PDT. So right after this hotfix is, in is installed and you log back into Destiny, you should be able to finish up the light quest. If you already have the quest updated to where you have to go to the moon bunker, you should be able to go ahead and go to the moon bunker and start the quest. Now that's what we're going to be doing today and I'll be showing you the mission entirely, the rest of the mission entirely and then a little bit of gameplay instead of PvP. See how it compares to Mindbenders since that is the most popular shotgun right now and we'll just see how it plays and how it feels so going into Season 11 in Year 4. Now in case you don't have the light quest in your inventory, maybe you deleted it whenever the glitch was going on just to test out some things, you do have to come back to Anna Bray and you'll be able to pick up the mission from the abandoned quest tab. And from there you should be able to go straight to the moon bunker. Alright, let's beat him. break on me again. I really hope this, <laughs> this isn't uh, broken still. I'm sure it isn't, but we never know. Odd chance. Here we go, open a Sarah bunker. Eris, am I gonna see you again? <laughs> probably not, probably not. We made it! We are in! Let's go! We made it! Alright. Let's see what's inside. Investigate the hologram. He's telling a story. Is that Bellwin? In a time of great prosperity, a tyrant king sent his son to live among the people and learn their ways. He did so for many years, until a great calamity befell the kingdom. In the aftermath, the tyrant's son was changed. Uh, what? That's really cool. Is there... You probably can't go exploring anywhere. Yeah, those seem cut off. Okay. Is there another hologram? There is. Battle winter. The tyrant's son turned away from his father and became a warrior. The tyrant chased his son across fields and mountains and oceans. He said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. In the end, the tyrant used his son's love of the people against him. He promised him a miraculous technology that could rebuild the kingdom. When 
his son came to claim it, he unleashed a plague upon him. His son was destroyed. And the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Oh shit. Is this the... It's the secret bunker. Dude, so many people have been glitching into this. I want to see how it's like lit up. Holy. Secret moon bunker. Dude, it's so dark in here. What the? Oh my god. I, I haven't glitched into this. I've only seen video, but I'm super excited to see Is Rasputin... Is he talking about himself? Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. Dude. I think the tyrant's son... Is Rasputin? Or is Rasputin the tyrant? Because if you uh, listen to the missions during the light quest, Rasputin unleashed Siva. Holy shit. Please light up. Oh my god! Is this these are like panels for the outbreak I think so like we did in the um, wrath of the machine but what is this why is this here is that a coffin oh, oh, oh shit it is are you fell winter that went to his lie. Use the comm station to make contact with the outside. I just like the name, doesn't mean anything. Opening shot, warp or weapon, slide shot and quick draw with accurized rounds, full choke. A range masterwork. Wow. This thing is going to be amazing. How does it compare to Mindbenders? Uh, Mindbenders have better stats. They're the same rounds per minute. Mindbenders has an extra shot. And it just has better stats overall besides the impact. Even with the range masterwork, my menders had more range. We'll see how it compares. Let's see what this does. Use the comm station to make contact with the outside. Guardian, can you read me? There you are. Comms cut out completely. You're in a really old part of the bunker. The signal's terrible. This place is like a time capsule. Where are we? Man, didn't this thing have a bunch of SIVA on it? Are we gonna activate SIVA? Like reactivate it, bring it back alive? This looks like the casing of an old safety AI, but marked with Rasputin symbol. These transcripts suggest his original code was for a sort of emergency response system from pre-Golden Age space stations. Checking oxygen levels, fuel, that kind of thing. 
Clovis Bray took a safety AI and turned it into an interplanetary defense system with sentience. And Rasputin kept all this, almost like a scrapbook of his past, a way to remember his roots. And he showed it to us. When did he learn to be so sentimental? Wish Zavala could see this. Mission complete. The tyrant. I wonder if we can come back here. Right. So initial thoughts on the weapon. Comparing it to Mindbenders, Mindbenders does have better stats. They both have the same rate of fire. Mindbenders has one extra shot in the magazine. And even with the range masterwork on the Felwinter's Lie, Mindbenders just has overall better stats. So I'm not sure if Felwinters will replace Mindbenders in year four. Because obviously Mindbender is going to be dominant through uh, season 11 with Felwinters being here and there. But I think this is just going to be one of those, it's a new weapon, let's try it out a little bit and then we'll just go on back to the most dominant shotgun in PvP right now, which is Mindbenders. Now, um, as far as class setup, I think Hunters and Titans are... Again, gonna be the most dominant with this weapon. Hunters being able to use Dragon Shadow, they can basically have Quick Draw on it already. So they can put on that slide shot and opening attack or um, opening shot uh, whenever they're sliding. As well as they can also use Vorpal Weapon if they wanted to. But that's, you know, pretty situational. And as far as Titans go, they of course have their anti war, so sliding is just gonna make everything easier with slide shot and opening shot with Antius wards, that's just, you know, can't really beat that. Warlocks though, pretty much being shafted again. Warlocks are the weakest class, no doubt about it, in PvP. There's not really any exotics to help us. Just the abilities for Warlocks aren't really that good overall, so... Hunters and Times are really gonna maximize this weapon for the rest of Season 10 all of season 11 and probably in year four the one thing i am concerned about is that since sunsetting is not affecting pvp that mindbenders and other weapons like spare rations and such they're just going to dominate even in year four when we have sunsetting enabled a bunch of new weapons hopefully even better weapons since you know that's what bungie wants to do but i guess we'll just have to wait and see i can't really expect pvp to change that much even in year four with nothing being affected by it but uh we'll just have to wait and see whether we get a new mind benders if for some reason fell winter's lie takes over mind benders i don't really expect it to honestly but we'll just see how it goes so go ahead and watch the rest of the gameplay and i'll see y'all next time thanks for watching One. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. Three opponents down.
five minutes remaining. The route is on! Finish it! minutes. Hold strong and this battle is yours. Sound tactics bring victory. The words total annihilation come to mind. 